Hi, in this video we will talk about the inductive effect. It is the first one of the four most important effects in organic chemistry which deal with the behavior of electrons. If you understand the behavior of electrons well, organic chemistry will be a breeze for you. There are two things that electrons like to do very much and the first one of those things is that electrons like to be closer to the more electronegative atom. Electrons like to be closer to more electronegative atom. What that means is if I have a bond between carbon and chlorine, now you can see that chlorine is more electronegative than carbon and therefore the electrons will shift towards the chlorine atom and this will lead to the generation of a small delta means small negative charge on the chlorine atom and a small positive charge on the carbon atom because electrons themselves have a negative charge. So if you gain electrons you get a negative charge and if you lose electrons like this carbon you get a positive charge. Because of this there is a charge separation and it leads to the formation of a polar bond. So this shifting of sigma electrons, why, why I call them sigma is because this bond between the carbon and chlorine atom is a sigma bond. So this shifting of sigma electrons is what we call the inductive effect. Let's take some more examples. If I have a bond between hydrogen and fluorine, let's say. Now which one of them is more electronegative? Obviously it is the fluorine atom and therefore the electrons will shift towards the fluorine atom and therefore fluorine will build a slightly negative charge and hydrogen will build a slightly positive charge. If I take another example, this time between a carbon and an oxygen atom, please keep in mind that I am not drawing all the bonds for any of the atoms because you know that carbon has four bonds and I am drawing only one. Once again, oxygen is more electronegative and therefore it will build a slightly negative charge and carbon will build a positive charge. You can apply this concept between any two atoms and you will get the charge separation. Now that we are clear on how the charge separation takes place, let's say if I have this compound where I have CH3, CH2 and Cl. Now let's try to use this effect and see what happens in this molecule. So this bond between carbon and chlorine, chlorine is obviously more electronegative than carbon while these two carbons have the same electronegativity. So now let's start from here, the bond between carbon and chlorine and chlorine will attract the electrons towards itself and get a slightly negative charge. Because of that, carbon will get a slightly positive charge because it has lost some electrons. So far we can explain this. Now here is the second thing that electrons like to do a lot. Electrons are negatively charged and so they like to move towards the positive charges. So the first thing that electrons like to do is to be closer to more electronegative atom and the second thing that they like to do is that they like to move towards the positive charges. Now that this carbon in the middle has some positive charge, the electrons present in this bond will like to 
move towards that positive charge. And so what happens is that this CH3 group donates some of its electrons to the carbon with positive charge and therefore it develops a small portion of this small positive charge. So we write it as delta of delta plus. It will not completely neutralize this charge because if it does then chlorine will snatch more charges from this carbon therefore it only supplies a part of that charge. This effect where electrons shift from one sigma bond to another is called the inductive effect. Now if you see carefully the chlorine atom took electrons from this carbon so it withdrew electrons and that effect is called minus i effect that is when you take out some electrons from a group you show minus i effect and what the ch3 did was that it supplied some electrons to the carbon with plus charge and if you donate some electrons you show the plus i effect. So here is how we remember it. If you are supplying electrons you show plus i effect and if you are taking out electrons you show the minus i effect. Let's try what we learned in this example. So we will start with the carbon and chlorine bond and you can see that chlorine will attract the electrons. So it shows minus i effect. Similarly, fluorine is also more electronegative than carbon and so it will attract electrons and it will show minus i effect. Now these CH3 groups over to the left and at the top, they will supply electrons to the carbon and so these groups will be showing the plus i effect. That is how you decide the minus i and plus i effects. If you take out the electrons, you show minus i and if you supply the electrons, you show the plus i effect. There is one more important property of inductive effect that we should know about and we will see that in this example. I have two alcohols. In the first alcohol, the chlorine atom is attached to the second carbon atom. And in the second alcohol, the chlorine atom is attached to the third carbon atom. And we know that it will show a minus i effect. Now here is the question. In which of these structures will the minus i effect be more? So the answer to this question is the chlorine atom here is very close to this carbon and so its pulling power is more whereas this second chlorine atom is far apart and so its pulling power will be less and the inductive effect decreases with distance. So if you have a group attached at a distance of more than four carbon atoms you should ignore the I effect. It becomes very very small. It is time to see this inductive effect in action and we will use this effect to explain the stability of carbocations. So if I have the following carbocations, this is the methyl carbocation, then I have a 1 degree carbocation. Let's take a 2 degree carbocation CH CH3 plus and finally a 3 degree carbocation. And let's try to decide their stability. Right. So the rule that we need to remember now is if charge decreases stability 
increases. That is the rule that we will always apply when deciding the stability of charged species. If charge decreases, stability increases. And let's see how inductive effect can help us. Now in the first structure, there is no group attached to this carbon and so there is no inductive effect. And so its stability is not affected by the I effect. In the second structure, we have a CH3 group and remember that CH3 shows plus I. So it will supply electrons to this plus charge and electrons want to go towards the plus charge. And so it will increase the stability of this 1 degree carbocation due to plus I effect because positive charge is decreasing as more electrons come in. Let's look at the third structure. Now here we have two CH3 groups, both of which are ready to supply electrons towards this plus charge and therefore its stability will increase even more because there is inductive effect coming from two CH3 groups. Now let's look at the final structure and we can see that three CH3 groups will be supplying electrons to this carbon and so it will receive a lot of negative charge and therefore its stability will rise even more and so we can say that this 3 degree carbocation is more stable than 2 degree carbocation which is more stable than 1 degree carbocation and then finally we have the methyl carbocation. So the lesson to learn from here is if charge in decreases stability increases and vice versa. Do not assume that plus I effect will increase the stability. No. See whether the charge is increasing or decreasing and then decide the stability. I will show you what I mean with another example. Let us say we have CH3 CH2 plus and CH3 CH2 minus. Which one of them do you think is more stable? Let us once again use our knowledge of inductive effect to decide the stability. And now you can say that due to plus I effect, the positive charge is decreasing and so stability is increasing. And look at the second structure. Once again, the CH3 group will show a plus I effect. Now, electrons have a minus charge and there is already a minus charge here. So, due to plus I effect, the charge is increasing and therefore, the stability will decrease. And therefore, the first structure is more stable than the second structure. Well, what about this example? Let us see. Chlorine has a minus I effect and therefore due to minus I effect it will withdraw the electrons from here and the plus charge will increase because electrons are going away as charge is increasing, stability will decrease. And I think you can guess what will happen here. Due to the minus I effect of chlorine, electrons will travel towards chlorine and so the negative charge will decrease which will cause the stability to increase and so structure 2 is more stable than structure 1. So this is how you decide the stability of species using the help of inductive effect. We will take up some more examples after we have covered all the electronic effects. See you in the next video. Have fun learning.